folks, how are we doing? We're finally back. I'm sure you're as eager to see uh, the progress on this as I am to get on with it. So, um, uh, tank is as cleaned out as it can be. Uh, I've got a little inline filter to fit, um, just so it catches any bits of crap and that that are bound to come out of the tank, because I've, I've run a couple of acid washes through it and um, all sorts of stuff to get it clean, but it's, the tank's about knackered. It also, um, got a little hole in it which I've put a tech bolt in and glued it so it's not ideal but it's not the original tank anyway the original tank is uh, mounted in front of the windscreen so when we get it uh, running and up and running and back to the yard and that I can get that tank uh, cleaned out and uh, get it running on that one so uh, anyway let's get this fitted get the carb fitted again and uh, we'll see where we are Put a splasher, two stroke in. I say we're a bit jury rigged with the fuel line, but we'll see how we get on. Literally just to see if it'll run. Do I reckon? Oh dear, we've got a good old squirt there. That's not good. Oh, we've got a little pin prick there. What's that all about? I don't know. Right, temperate bodge. I've clamped a little bit of rubber in there. Um, just hopefully seal it up. back on that's fun with old stuff like this you never know what you're gonna what you're gonna come across right we are about ready I think turn the fuel on still getting familiar with everything in here turn the coil on I'm pretty sure I'm in neutral um, that's the throttle for the auxiliary, set that about halfway, make sure that's off, that doesn't lock in a minute, that's the main engine starter. Right, let's see what happens. Work forward. Sunny. <laughs> right, let's try. Whether the choke's on that or not, we're gonna have a look. See what happens now. I think is off because obviously everything's in Russian so make sure that that's main engine engager I don't want that going in till I'm ready so a bit of throttle Trying. I haven't actually checked the uh, spark plug on it. 
We've got one there. There actually is a brand new one in the toolbox there. <coughs> Let's leave it a minute, see if it's flooded. Yeah, that is the main engine starter there. That should lock up and look on, but it won't look on for some reason. <laughs> so I'm just making sure holding up my foot at the minute best I can. Right, let's try again. HT on. Right. Coil on. Throttle. Wants to run. Come on, baby. <clears throat> and again. I'm not happy with the amount of fuel that's getting through. You see the filter there, it's, it's not doing very well, is it?
stopping it there I know it's a bit mean but we have made progress in this video we've gone from a non-running donkey engine up to uh, a running donkey engine and the more the more I was using it the more I realized what I was needing to fiddle with choke and uh, the fuel on it like to get it running sweet um, and as you can see in the main engine turns the main engine turns so we have made progress but You'll have to wait to the next episode to see if she starts, if the big engine starts, or what happens. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> so it's like I say, it's, it's a bit mean, but um, had to be done, didn't it? Had to be done. Um, a few quick little updates while we're at it. I've got my new <coughs> Lord Muck um, t shirt, which is uh, very good quality. I really do like it. This is a large. This is, and uh, he stopped. Uh, he stopped the run now um, for the time being. He'll uh, be doing some more short lease and different stuff. Mine is still on the drawing board at the minute. I've got some designs, but I need to send them off to get them sort of tweaked. Like you know, I'm I'm getting to a certain point, but I'm not good enough with uh, Photoshop and that sort of thing to tweak them like. But uh, it's coming. It's coming. Um, I know I haven't done a shack video for a while. This is, um, as you can see, getting nearer, nearer to completion. Um, I should be doing uh, an update video on this very soon and carrying on with the build. Um, also, uh, on our other channel, Talking Point, that me and Mucker do, and Dino sometimes comes on when he's not uh, busy. Um, He's, uh, Mucker went to start in tractors the other day and did a review on a case axle flow combine. Uh, one of the, you know, the, one of the latest ones like, and, um, uh, it's really interesting video actually. Um, and it's sort of, you know, he, he tells you why case H went down that uh, avenue of rotary, um, rotary separator rather than straw walkers. And, um, yeah, it's really quite interesting. That's, uh, um, and that sort of follows on from the fact that hopefully we'll get some videos done together again. Um, it's been over a year now, as a lot of you know, and hopefully with the way things are currently, with sort of, you know, step by step, we're getting a bit more relaxed, um, we'll be able to get something done. So, uh, fingers crossed for that, and um, yeah, that's the end of this video. Like I say, keep your eyes peeled for the next one. Whether it'll be for the next video or not, I've done a bit of a review, um, like a over a thousand hour review on how the JCB Agri Pro is doing. So um, I might put that up next, but we'll see anyway. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that little vid, and uh, I certainly enjoyed working on the Bolaris again. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Ta ta!